Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July the 23rd in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be found in the book of Mark in chapter 11, which says, If you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Now, the meaning of this text on the surface is quite obvious. Jesus has forgiven our sins. And if we think back the timeline of our lives, the events that took place, we would have to admit that there is no reason that he should have forgiven us. But he did. He has. Which tells us that there is nothing that we should not be willing to forgive. And so as we look at this passage, it's important for us to discover what forgiveness really is. Does it mean to forgive and forget? Of course not. There is no way that we can forget. Once it's in our memory banks, it's there. So what does forgive really mean? In its simplicity, it simply means to let it go, not to be moved by it, certainly not to dwell on it, because whatever it was or it is, meaning that event in your life that you're finding hard to forgive someone else, the more you dwell upon it, the more moved by it you become, the more emotional you become. Almost as if the same event in your mind were happening all over again. And that's certainly the opposite of letting go. Now, all of us have been wronged in our lives from the highest levels to the most basic. Many of us feel like the government has wronged us. Maybe our bosses have wronged us. Maybe the church has wronged us, our friends and our family members. But you know what's so interesting about the aspect of forgiveness or more specifically unforgiveness? Usually you're the only one suffering from it. The other person has moved on long ago, not giving it a second thought. But as a cancer, if you allow it to, it will dominate you and ultimately kill you if not physically, spiritually. Now, sometimes the scars run very deep. And even when we sleep in our dreams, we're reminded of this event, whatever it may be in your life or in my life. But I can tell you, friend, how to know if you truly have forgiven or at least are willing to forgive. Can you ask the Lord Jesus to bless them? With a humble heart, and your head hung low, knowing what he has forgiven you for. Can you say, Father, please forgive them, for they did not know what they were doing? And then each and every time that you're reminded of that event, of that specific occasion, offer up a word of prayer for them. Now, this may mean you may find yourself praying for them many times throughout the day. But turn that reminder in an opportunity of prayer and truly love them in your prayer. But be careful to truly follow the living spirit of love that comes from the Father and not your emotions. Meaning you don't necessarily have to put yourself back in their lives. In other words, you can love them without being present among them. And I realize, friends, sometimes it's far easier said than done. But if the spirit of the living Christ abides within your soul, you have the capability to love them, to forgive them exactly the way Jesus has loved you and forgiven you. Now, what I have done in these last few moments is encouraged you to be obedient to the word of God. Yet what we find in our text this morning is not an encouragement. It's not even a commandment. It's a dire warning, friends. If you do not forgive, 
neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. So as you've listened to this, I'm sure that there are some memories, maybe some people that have risen in your mind and you need to be sure whatever it is, whomever it is, you have forgiven them. And if for some reason you just feel like you're unable to forgive, you're unable to let it go, at least go before the Father and say, I'm willing to, but you have to impart this gift of unforgiveness to me. You have to help me let it go. I'm willing, but I can't do it on my own. That may not be what the scripture requires, but friends, at least it's a start in the right direction. It's so easy for us to hold on to these things and to carry these things year after year after year, and yet they are so damaging to our souls, to our fellowship with our Father, to our fellowship with the Son, the Lord Jesus, and to our fellowship with the Holy Spirit. We have to learn to forgive friends in any and all things. We can't carry these grudges and these grievances and this bitterness that comes from the lack of being unwilling to forgive. It will only destroy us and leave us undone before the Father. Friends, I love you. I want your journey with Christ to be so blessed, to be so rich, to be so fulfilled. But it's these little insignificant things from our viewpoints that hinder us in experiencing what a true relationship with him is all about. I don't want you to miss what is available to you here in this life over such a matter that is so insignificant in the scheme of things. Simply say, as Jesus himself said, hanging up on that cross, his killers standing just below him, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. I love you, friends. Now, as Yahweh wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.